doing up here, Molly? I'm going to put these glow-in-the-dark stars all over my ceiling. What do you mean by all over your ceiling? All over my ceiling. You're talking about this perfectly pristine, brand new ceiling that your mother and I painstakingly installed? Yes. Oh, okay. Go ahead. All right, Molly, let's check out your stars. Turn off your light. Click and click. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, great job, Molly. You gonna be able to sleep in here like this? Of course. We've removed the anchor chain from the anchor locker because we need to get inside the anchor locker because we're going to be installing two more bow cleats. And these new bow cleats we're installing are to be for the purpose of helping us anchor and also attach to uh, an anchor snubber. So here's what our current setup is. Right now each side of the boat has a big, I think that's uh, maybe a 10 inch cleat and it goes through one of these little hoss pipes that leads uh, you know, a, a mooring line out of the boat. We have both of those. And we also do have a bridle setup when we are anchoring, so we could actually run a bridle out of each of these, and then, then it goes down outside the boat to a single point and kind of acts as a uh, snubber slash bridle. But what I want to do as well is to be set up so that I can run a single line snubber. And due to like the angles and where these cleats are back here, I really just can't do that. So what we're gonna do is install two more cleats, one directly under this roller and another one directly under that smaller roller there. And that way I'll have a nice clean run to run a rope up and over this bow roller and attach it to a cleat. Yeah, and it's just gonna give us kind of a more redundant setup here. Uh, we have actually broken a cleat before, not on this boat, but on a different boat. So, you know, I, I just like the idea of having additional cleats up here anyways. So. Going to uh, improve our anchoring abilities and uh, add some redundancy and the time to do it is now because we splashed this boat in two days. All right, well we have some visitors here at the boat today. Now this is the family that actually won our inverter when we did the giveaway. So check out these guys. Meet the Scheffner family. How you guys doing? Introduce yourselves. Danielle. Ryan. Maisie. Kayla. Marley. All right, nice to meet you guys. You gonna maybe help us out a little bit? We could use some help. I think we're gonna help you out. Okay, great. We can start by putting on these earmuffs and then you're gonna cut something out with the circular saw. Sorry. And then you're gonna go up the mast, you're gonna scrub the bottom, you're gonna clean the builds and you're gonna do an oil change. Do you know how to operate one of these? Push this button. That is correct, sir. Yes. <laughs> Here we are on the bow. By we, I mean Ryan and myself. We're about to be drilling the holes to mount these cleats. One set of holes is going to be there, the other right in this area. Something about drilling in somebody else. Yeah, you want to do it? That's the best way to do it. <laughs> yeah, if you're nervous about drilling into a boat, the best way to do it is to drill into somebody else's. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's much more than a quarter inch. I'm gonna go ahead and do these over here too. See how Ryan took the initiative and picked up the camera here? I didn't tell him to do that. That's because Ryan has a YouTube channel of his own. Isn't that right? I don't know what you're talking about, Ben. <laughs> well, what's the name of your YouTube channel? This is your chance. Come on, what's the channel name? S SV Going Coastal. Going Coastal. Going Coastal. I like it. Family of five on a Irwin 38. Did I get that right? That is correct. All right. Going Coastal. Check them out, folks. 
<laughs> I have to say I'm kind of starstruck right now. We've been watching them since uh, the beginning. And to be here is quite surreal. And I would have to say most of our inspiration has come from these guys. Really? Is that truly that, the truth? That is absolutely the truth. You're not just saying that because you're holding the camera in your hand that's eventually going to result in a video on our channel and you're trying to be kind and courteous, are you? No, that can go in your home video clip. Oh, uh, okay. All right, well, that's a real honor, man. I appreciate it. Always glad to be uh, one to inspire others. It's a, it's a humbling thing and we're very honored. Yeah, happy we could help, man. You want to drill some holes in my boat? Sure. What are you looking over there for? Nothing. No? Just checking? Just checking. Oh, okay. All right, a little time has passed, folks. Uh, it was really cool hanging out with Ryan and Danielle and his family and all their little girls. Didn't you have fun with them, Molly? Yes. Yeah? So they helped us out a little bit, uh, helped drill some holes, but we didn't get too far. We had to go to the hardware store and then go on a mission to get the correct hardware for mounting these cleats. And uh, that took quite some time. But we are geared up now and are about to mount some cleats. So also, when we got here this trip, there was a little gift sitting on the companionway from Michael and Mary. Mm -hmm. A little bag and a gift card for provisioning. We just want to say thank you guys for dropping that off. Uh -huh. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. That's really cool of you. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we've bought probably a thousand dollars worth of provisions so far and we're only about halfway through so yeah the little card is helpful so thanks yes, so much thank for that you. Okay. <laughs> we're gearing up we're getting oh, yeah. ready we're about to head out folks Woohoo! Sambi has butyl taped up all the hardware for these cleats. Yep. And uh, she's going to pop them in place. I'm going to go down there into the chain locker and put on the, uh, the backing plates, the washers, and the nuts. Thanks, baby. Right, Molly? Yeah. So this is the hardware we're installing on the inside. And one other little step we like to do is to actually put a little butyl tape on the inside as well on these washers. Just creates another sealing surface to help prevent any potential leaks. So Molly's going to be working on that while I am doing the installing, right? Yep. Thanks for your help, Molly. You're I mean, you just can't even see it. Up inside that groove, right in there, is where those uh, those backing plates are and all that hardware. Same on the other side. Oh, you can just possibly barely see it. Yeah, on that side. Anyways, that was a really tight spot to work. I just uh, we just padded up inside this locker here, and uh, to make it slightly more comfortable. Yeah, and then there are the new cleats. Port side cleat, starboard side cleat. So wait. Thank you for your help, ladies. Welcome. Nice job. Uh-huh. You look great. Yeah, they're on there, right? They are on there, yeah. On there like a son of a gun? Yep. Molly? Yeah. How on there are they? On there. All right, boy, things are happening left and right. 
So one little problem up there that we kind of foresee that we have a solution for that we've been working on is we're worried about the chain, which is going to be right up against the door that goes in that hole, leaking through and coming in this area where Molly's bed is. So in order to prevent that, we have created a really weird flap. So this is actually the back side of the door that you're looking at. We have taken a piece of wood and sandwiched down a double thick piece of sombrella here. And then we have 5200 between the door and the fabric and also between the fabric and this piece of wood in order to create a good waterproof seal hopefully and then we have epoxied the wood and what we're hoping to do it, we're, we hope that this piece of uh, umbrella is going to basically act like a roof shingle and let any water that is on the chain drain past the door and down into the bilge and not enter you know what would be a crack between this door and uh the uh Molly's room. Molly's room. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know if I explained that very well or not. But anyways, that's why the door is still off up there. But while we have Molly's room taken apart, we are going to install this canvas organizer. Now, Tammy has been working hard on these things at home. She made, I think, five of them, all custom, all different sizes. And this organizer is about to go right there. Right, Molly? There it is, folks. Organizer number one out of five installed here in Molly's forward cabin. What do you think, Molly? I like it. Now, Tamby has been working very hard on these over the last few weeks. So what's it like to see the fruits of your labor installed on a wall? It looks good. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of you for making them too. Thanks. Fantastic work, baby. Thank you. It looks real nice. All right, so the next order of business here is to re-grease our max prop. So we put this propeller together, I guess a few months ago now, and we put a coat of this uh, anti-barnacle, anti-foul, anti-corrosion stuff on it. But what happened was, since this propeller is basically in direct sunlight a lot of the time, I think the grease inside just kind of liquefies. You can see kind of the liquid grease down there. So I just want to do kind of another grease treatment on this thing uh, since we're going in the water tomorrow so that it has good, fresh, grease inside the propeller. You remember helping me put that thing on there, Molly? Yeah. Yeah? Man, your haircut is just so cute. <laughs> Haven't gotten used to it yet. Still? Still. <laughs> Daddy's about to get a pretty major haircut, too. Yep. I'm gonna take it down to the wood. I don't think you have wood in your head. Well, you'd be surprised. <laughs> So the grease we need to put in the propeller is this here, this extraordinarily expensive stuff, Lubra, pay, Lubra plate number 130AA. And I need to use this grease gun, however it has some kind of cheap uh, grease in it. So we got to actually switch out the grease, which is going to be an interesting task. Very nasty, uh, very slippy, very slimy. But, uh, you know, thankfully, you know, we do have the right person for the job here to handle this task. Right, Tambi? And she did willingly volunteer for this. Mm -hmm. Luckily, she does have a single glove and a paper towel to assist with this. So just go ahead and get a start on that, Tambi. Uh, check back in with me when we're all ready for the task at hand. That is gross. <laughs> what? It's gross. It's not gross, it's grease. It's pretty color though. Yeah, it is a pretty color. Yeah, there you go. Well, your opinion on that changed quickly. Well, we got it apart. Uh, my intention was to have Tamby do it, but she reached a point where she needed help, and then we were both so covered in grease that nobody could operate the camera. <laughs> All right. Nicely done. Ta da! Grease. Yep, there we go. If the fresh grease squeezing out of every possible orifice on this propeller is an indication of how well it's greased, 
I think we did a good job. Mm -hmm. Looks kind of like sweet and condensed milk mixed with caramel. Oh, your, <laughs> your descriptions are so much more pleasant than what I was thinking. <laughs> good to go. Ready to go in the water tomorrow. Here's another one of Tammy's organizers in place, right here next to the companionway. Not sure what all we're gonna put in there just yet, but I imagine we'll probably have binoculars in there somewhere, the air horn, you know, things such as that that you need pretty quick access to from the cockpit. Nice job, sweetie. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna show you, let me, let me show them the one that's back here as well. There's another organizer Tammy made. Right there, next to her side of the bed, just all her nighttime stuff. Or Kindle and toilet paper and phone charger and stuff nice like snack. that, right? Yeah, that's not going to stay in here. No? This is for my journal. Oh, journal spot. Okay. Yeah, and this one is for my glasses. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Nice job, honey. And then she was going to put another organizer on this wall for all of her bikinis, but she has so many bikinis that she's decided to go with the larger area back there. So when she gets home, she's going to make another organizer that is going to have large pockets for one-piece bikinis, smaller pockets for two-piece bikinis, and then pockets the size of postage stamps for the really, really tiny stuff that consists mostly of strings. There is nothing that consists of strings. Yeah, so I like your modesty, Tammy. Don't <laughs> tell them all of your secrets. <sighs>